This map view and dug-in site shows a digital elevation model with detailed contours every 20 meters. The shape of the land is very clearly defined, but for this well planning project I need to know more about the settlements and structures on the surface. I can add shapefiles showing the local county political and parish boundaries, as well as the settled areas of high population density. Knowledge of the road network will be useful if I am to move a lot of equipment about, and I can add the economic boundaries showing available license blocks. I am particularly interested in the northeast area of this map view. I have also imported an aerial photograph of the area taken from Google Earth, which will provide the extra detail I'm looking for. Removing the horizon layer reveals the aerial photograph below. Wouldn't it be nice to see both the aerial photograph and the horizon together? The 3D view allows me to display multiple objects together, and here is the surface elevation data. To see the culture file at the same time, I have to click the surface icon, just like I do when displaying a horizon surface. This culture file appears flat because it is associated with a constant depth slice of 1300 meters above sea level. I can change the slice value to move the culture up and down, but what I really want is to drape it over the structure, and changing the constant to a horizon selection will do that. I am not interested in the steep mountainous area, only this valley in the foreground, and so I can use a polygon to crop the culture to this area. I can also drape the shape files onto the horizon surface using the same show surface icon. This is almost what I want, but I had contours in map view and it would be good to see those in 3D view. Contours are driven by the map view and whatever contours are displayed in the map can also be shown here by turning on the display settings for contours. I don't need this many contours for most of the area so let's increase the contour interval to 200. Detailed contours would be nice for the valley of interest though, and I can have two sets of contours in the 3D view by using contours from two different map views. In this second map, I can display contours for the smaller valley area with a different colour at a more detailed increment of 25 metres. Perfect. Time to get planning. Thanks to Google Earth and the Scottish and UK governments for providing the images and shapefiles shown in this movie. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com and remember, have fun with insight!